it's time for You Auto Know with Steve Hurley from Stingray Chevrolet. And the Volkswagen scandal has been at the top of the headlines for a couple of weeks now. If you were one of the people affected, we have some new information for you. Steve, we're actually going to fill in some blanks here beyond the headlines. Very interesting story. Yeah, tell us how this all came to be. It's really an unfortunate situation for Volkswagen, but really for the industry when something like this happens. So none of us like to see it happen, mm. but when it does, uh, a gentleman named John German, he's an engineer out of Michigan, actually discovered it accidentally. Oftentimes these things happen. He was wanting to prove that our emission standards were so good that the vehicles sold in the U.S. are so much better than uh, those sold in Europe. So when he tested a Passat and a Jetta, he found 25 to 35 times worse emissions out of these vehicles than what they're supposed to have. They thought their equipment was broken. Oh. Do we know how long this had been going on? Like how dirty are yes. the hands of the Volkswagen it, it people? It turn, turns out for many, many years, back to I think around 2009. And here's what's amazing is they notified Volkswagen, they notified the EPA and the California Air Research Board back in 2014. Well, the, the CARB or California Air Research Board tested a Volkswagen a year later in May of 2015. It was still doing it. And that's when the EPA said, enough, we're not going to allow you to sell diesels in the U.S. in 2016, and that's when Volkswagen had to, had to own it. So yeah. this is only for diesel engines? Correct, diesel engines only. Okay, so anybody who's driving a Volkswagen right now that's not diesel must... Won't be affected. Not at all. Should how be many, affected. Okay. How many Correct. diesel vehicles from Volkswagen are going to be uh, recalled? About 465,000 were sold in the United States, uh, globally about 11 million. So it's going to be a, a, a big challenge for them to get this corrected. Plus you have the concern about what's going to happen to the market when these get traded in. As a dealer, I've got to be very cautious because I may trade for something that might be very, very hard to sell. Well, mm -hmm. would you even bother? I mean, why even put it on your lot? If, it's, if it doesn't meet the standards, that's the, then... That's the challenge. You hate to put someone in a position to where they've got a vehicle that's, that can't be traded. Well, so time will tell. So what is this going to do to VW? Is this going to hurt their reputation to the point where they can, can't recover from it? It's going to be very hard. I think they possibly can recover, but it's going to take a lot of years and a long time and billions of dollars of, of uh, litigation. It's going to be really, really unfortunate. Do you think this might affect diesel sales in general across the board with all brands? Oh, I think it could challenge the confidence because diesels actually are great. They have better torque than a gasoline engine. They tend to have better mileage. But the challenge is the emissions. Mm -hmm. And it, what's really, the, the worst thing about all of this is that they willfully cheated the system. Mm. The engineers designed something to cheat uh, the laws and regulations, and that's what's going to really hurt the company. Does this put all car companies under the microscope it now? It does. They're going to uh, be checking more and more vehicles. There's no evidence that any of the car manufacturers were involved in this, but it's very possible that uh, they could be checking every company. Hmm. So overall, do you think Volkswagen will pull back on their advertising? Are they going to be hit with a huge fine? They will have, they'll get fined from many, many different countries where they sell these vehicles. That's why this is a global problem for Volkswagen, not just a marketing problem, as well as the all the consumers that were affected. Mm -hmm. So it's it's going to be something that's going to take a long time to get resolved. So this wasn't yeah. only happening in the U.S.? No, no not globally. Really. This was happening The greater problem really was Europe. Oh, yeah, how expensive that? for them. Mm -hmm. wow. Oh, more. Yes. Yeah. All right, Steve, great, great stuff. For more information on Stingray Chevrolet, just head to StingrayChevrolet.com. We'll be right back.